kind of stuck in a rut and I believe the army was was that change and it was the best thing besides my children and my wife the best thing I've ever done the biggest experience was on August 17th 2007 we were in a uh, Humvee and we were dropping off our new lieutenant that was taking over our platoon he just came in I just met him five hours prior and just got to know him and we were going to 1215 at night and I was in the command vehicle, which is the second vehicle. First vehicle passed through a T intersection, no problem. And then I saw a trash pile to the left of us. And as soon as um, I saw that, I went to the right. And as soon as I did that, uh, an EFP blew up about three feet from our Humvee. And, uh, I had went into um, Sergeant Wiley, uh, which was gunning that night. And then the uh, shrapnel uh, from the turret actually hit Jonathan Eads. The uh, medic pulled him out, tried to save his life. With no regard to their lives, my brothers came to my aid and they pulled me out while in firefight. They were shooting from us from the left. And the Humvee was here and I was right in the middle and the bullets were actually hitting off of the Humvee. And my whole body was split in half almost. So I had to crawl on my right side and I was paralyzed from my waist down and on my left side. And as soon as uh, I got into a safer zone, uh, my brothers pulled me away and threw me into a Humvee. All my scouts from 269, third ID, uh, saved my life that day. And um, unfortunately, they were not able to uh, save Lieutenant Eads. And it, to this day, it, it's still, uh, I don't talk about it as much, but I came to the realization if I don't talk about the experience, the memory will go away, and I won't allow that to happen. When they told me that I would no longer be in the military, it hit me hard. Um, I'm leaving people I love, people I, I got to know, people I got to experience life with. When you, when you transition, you're thinking of, I get somebody at the airport to say, welcome home. I didn't get that. I didn't even get a hello, you know. And that was hard because um, I'm thinking of what are my brothers going through and then I'm thinking what's going on with me and I didn't have that support. So leaving my brothers was, was the hardest thing um, for me, the camaraderie. How I met Defenders of Freedom was actually through my AEW2 advocate, Linda Parrish. My son and I went on a hunting trip. When we came back, and he heard about this clay shoot. It was for children advocates and to do this fundraiser. And then he came up with the idea, he goes, Dad, how cool would this be to do with veterans? Well, I mentioned it to Linda Parrish, and then she told me about a group called Defenders of Freedom. And I got to meet Donna Cranston, and with her help, I was able to get involved with uh, Fossil Point Sporting Grounds to bring out disabled veterans to come shooting at no charge to them. And when I got with Donna and Defenders of Freedom, I found that my purpose and what I wanted to achieve was to try to get that camaraderie back that I had while I was in the military. I've got a friend, and, and I consider a brother, Curtis, that brought out his family. I told him straight, I said, just go enjoy the time. It's not necessarily if you hit the target, it's being there and talking with your veteran. Well, it's therapeutic. It's kind of the same camaraderie out here. You're shooting, go out there and have some competitions. And, you know, I'm infantry and he's a scout, so that kind of opens the playing field a little bit. It's just, it's a brotherhood. So. I think of them as family. DOF is family. A lot of organizations take you out for a one-time thing, then they lose track of you. That's not what Defenders of Freedom. Defenders of Freedom is a family. Plain and simple, period. That's all it is about. It's a family. It's a 
family that veterans need uh, for someone to be just check on them for a while or say, hey, we wanted to do this with you. I thought as soon as the military said, you're done, my oath was over. Defenders of Freedom put me back on track and made me realize when you take an oath, it's an oath for life. It's to serve your brothers. I understand it's to serve your country, but you get a bond with your brothers and sisters. And Defenders of Freedom allowed me to expand my relationships with other people and want to give back.